Satan works tirelessly every day to see that the number of people that pray every day continues to decrease on a daily basis. This is primarily because of the power that prayer commands. Many Christians are not consistent with their prayer life. More studies have showed that less than 70% of Christians forget to keep their prayer schedule. Most people out of that number don't even have a prayer schedule. They are so busy with everything and always forget to spend time in the presence of God. But here is a sad truth. There are grave consequences when you forget to pray. And here are some we will be discussing today. The first we will be looking at is that when you forget to pray, you begin to lose touch with the voice of God. We must realize that the strength of a Christian is in the voice of God. The voice of God guides and protects you from coming dangers that you have no idea about. Losing touch with the voice of God puts you in expose to the attacks of the devil. But not only that, we get easily deceived when you lose touch with the voice of God. When we forget to pray, it becomes very easy for us to make wrong decisions. It becomes easy to judge things from the realm of sight, not from the realm of faith. In John chapter 10, Jesus tells us that his sheep knows his voice and the voice of another they will not follow. It is in the presence of God that you learn to familiarize with the voice of God. Like a baby learns the voice of his mother, so you stay more in his presence to learn his voice. When you don't pray or you skip your prayer time, you become susceptible to deception. Have you wondered how many people end up in wrong relationships? Some are deceived when their partner come that they saw a dream about them in the dream. They say maybe God is instructing us to get married. The second is that when you forget to pray, it becomes difficult to trust and obey God. What makes us to trust and obey God is when our heart is broken before the Lord. Trusting God can sometimes be very difficult and that happens primarily when we forget to pray. Fear and doubt can find expression in your heart when you spend time with God. When you skip your prayer time, fear begins to harden your heart. The things you would easily believe God for, it will become difficult for you to trust Him. When your heart is hardened, it becomes very difficult to do the will of God, even when you know the right thing to do. Prayer affects our heart and soften our heart towards the instructions of God. The presence of God penetrates our hearts and makes us long to please Jesus. Jeremiah 17 tells us that the heart is desperately wicked, and who can know how wicked it is? Only God searches the heart and try the reins. He gives to every man according to what he deserves. This is a very powerful revelation. He tells that our heart is conditioned to be wicked. It is conditioned to love evil and sin against God. But our only solution is a search from God, a search that will ventilate the heart and help us desire. To please Him instead rebel against His instructions. You will notice in your life that the most difficult times, when you have disobeyed God are days or moments when you took days off from praying. Your flesh suddenly became stronger, your will became stronger than the will of God. You wanted to do what your flesh was asking you to do. This is because the self was strong and hadn't died before the Lord. When we forget to pray, another thing that happened is that we begin to fall asleep in the realm of this spirit. The opposite of this expression is used by our Lord Jesus Christ as he tries to emphasize the importance of praying. Luke 21 36 tells us that, but stay awake at all times praying that you may have the strength to escape all these things that are going to take place and to stand before the Son of Man. This is not the only place the Bible warns us of this. Ephesians 6 18 tells us in praying at all times in the spirit with all prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert with all perseverance making supplication for all the saints. This sleep that the Bible talks about is not the natural sleep, but a deep spiritual sleep. In natural when we sleep, we become inactive, unaware of anything around us, close eyes and vulnerable to anything. This is the same case in the spirit. When you forget to pray, you begin to grow weak. Jesus said in Luke 18, 1, that men ought to always to pray and not to faint or sleep. The key word is always. You cannot afford to sleep in these last days. The Bible tells us that the devil is working hard because he knows his time is short. He has limited time and he will try to make the most out of it. Spiritual sleep will cost you a lot. You will be inactive the realm of the spirit. Many people have had wrong people enter into their lives and destroy it. They were supposed to sense the danger from that person. For some people, it's a wrong job. Since they started the job, their lives have never remained the same. Brothers add sisters. 
Not every open door is from God. Some are traps set by the enemy to capture your peace. When we forget to pray, another thing that happens is that we begin to lose our hunger and fire for God. This is a very serious one because the level of your fire for God tells the health of your spirit. God gives this instruction in Leviticus 6.13. He commands that the fire on the altar must be kept burning. It must not go out. Every morning the priest is to add firewood and arrange the burnt offering on the fire and burn the fat of the fellowship offerings on it. The priest had a clear understanding of this. They were to not allow the flames go off. Every morning they will have to keep it burning. Brother and sister listening to me, how is your fire? How is your hunger for the word of God? Do you still long for the presence of God? If you don't, you can still burn for him. Every morning take out some time to spend with the Lord. Let the fire on your altar burn so that your offerings can ascend before the Lord. If you haven't been keeping your prayer watch, God still loves you and he is calling you back to the altar. He wants to share fellowship with you. He is saying, my son, my daughter, I want you back on fire for me. When we refuse to burn, all we are left with is the ash. The ash is only a proof that you once had fire, but ashes can't produce any result. The enemy is not scared of ash, but fire. Sickness is not scared of ash, but fire. Don't be an ash type of Christian. Don't have the form of godliness. But your life is denying the power that godliness should produce. Be a Christian who is on fire for Jesus. You don't need to have a church to be on fire. You just need an altar somewhere in your little room. A place where you burn in prayer and in the study of his word. When you forget to pray, you are refusing to make investments into the realm of the spirit. I once read a book called Prayer Investments. The author described prayer as an investment you make in the realms of the spirit. Paul teaches likewise that when you sow in the spirit, you will reap everlasting life. And when you sow to the flesh, you will reap corruption. When you pray, you are making deposits into the spiritual realm. You are sowing seeds that will one day speak for you. The Bible tells us in Ecclesiastes 11 that when the cloud is full of rain, they empty themselves upon the earth. When your cloud become full of rain by praying, it can empty out as rain of blessings, as rain of favor and breakthrough. When you don't make deposits in your bank account and you go to the bank for withdrawal, you will told that you don't have any money inside. This is exactly the case of many people. They run to God in the times of trouble. They only know the throne of grace when they are in a problem. They want to make withdrawals, but they have not made any deposit in the spirit. Remember that God is a faithful God and he will not deny himself. Make deposits every morning in the spirit so you can command your day. You cannot harvest where you haven't invested. When you see a man of God make a declaration and it comes to pass, it is not just because God is faithful, but also because he has deposit in the spirit. And as a result of that, his words are respected in the spirit. God loves you and we are always praying for you. If you enjoyed this video, then click this next one. Please leave us a comment. Let's know how you were blessed.